if you are appearing for salesforce interview these questions can be really helpful to you so let's move on to the first question the first question says that we have three roles ceo cto and cmo and along with that we have a junction object called as b whose parent subjects are a and c all the records of a b and c are owned by ceo and the owd of the a is private while the owd of the object c is public read write so will cto and cmo will be able to see slash update the records of junction object now what do i mean by that is so right now first of all we have certain kind of role hierarchy cto ceo and cmo okay now while this being considered let's move on to the next point saying that we have a junction object called as b okay and we have an object a and c now this a and c are the parent of b okay now what's going to happen is that the owd of the a is private whereas the owd of the c is public read write okay c is public read write a is private and all the records of a b and c are created by ceo himself okay so the record that are been created by a of a are owned by ceo c are also owned by ceo and b are also owned by ceo now the if you think about it the a record their uh, owd of the a object is private so what's going to happen is that whatever records that have been owned by ceo won't be visible to cto okay they won't be visible to cto as the o object a object owd is private on the other hand c object is public read write so whatever records that have been owned by ceo will be visible to cto as well cto will be able to see the records of ceo not this way this way yeah so cto will be able to see the records of ceo in terms of c object okay now the question is Let it go. Yeah. Now the question is: Will CTO and CMO see the records of B, that is junction object? Will they be able to see the records of the junction object while A is private and C is public read write? Will they be able to see the records of junction object? Now, what do I think that is that usually what happens is when you are using junction object, okay, like A and B, A and C are the parent object of the B object. So if you are going through the junction object, what's happen is uh, what will happen is that first of all it will consider this two parent objects A and C, okay, and it will give the most restrictive access to the B. That's what I think, okay. So what's going to happen is that as A is private and C is public read write, okay, what it's going to do is it's going to give the most restrictive access that is A, the, sorry, the private to the B. So automatically the OWD of the B will be controlled by parent that will be basically private. also it depends upon uh, with which object you have created the uh, created the uh, like on, uh, junction object first right uh, which object which you, uh, you have created the relation first but most probably i think that uh, if your uh, owd whatever the restrictive owd is will get automatically get assigned to b so here private is the most restrictive and it automatically will get assigned to b so as now the owd of the b is private most probably cto right and the cto and cmo won't be able to see the records of ceo which of the junction object okay because it will take the most restrictive access which is private to the b so this was the answer to the first question let's move on to the next question that says that i have a master detail relationship between two objects can we write a separate sharing rule for the child detail object so basically uh, let's consider this way okay now here uh, remove the c from your mind okay i will just remove this now let's say there is a uh, a and b object right so what do we have is let me remove first yeah so we have an a object and let's say b object so and i have created a master detail relationship with both of them so can i write a separate sharing rule for the child object can i uh, write a sharing rule for the child object itself so right now inside the object manager i have created a parent md object right if you can see parent md and along with that i have also created a child md object so which has a master detail relationship so let's see whether parent md is a parent object child md is a child object so can we create a sharing rule for the child md right so let's go and write sharing so inside owd first of all let me go to child md so yes first of all the owd of the child md is controlled by parent but if you see right now if i try if i am trying to search any further i am not able to find anything else so basically if i go and find parent md instead of this i will be able to find two things first is sharing rule and next is the owd 
that we have right the sharing rule and the owd itself so i am able to find sharing rules and owd both of them in terms of parent but for child if you are having a master detail relationship in that cases you cannot write a separate sharing rule okay you cannot write a separate sharing rule in certain case if you have a master detail relationship so keep that in mind now before moving to the next question if you don't understand integration and usually are scared in terms of integration for interviews i have created an integration master class where i have done integration with four systems while explaining the most difficult concepts of integration if you want to watch that video or if you want to watch that series i will create the i will provide the link in the description so let's move on to the last question that says that can we share a record using the formula fields so question is can i share a record using formula fields so if i have a formula field right now i i think so i have a formula field on contact first of all you might be thinking okay wh what does this question means basically sharing a record from the formula field field is a fee formula field basically right if you want to share a record using field basically you have to write a criteria based sharing rule so basically can i use a formula field within the criteria based sharing rule that's what the question is okay so i have created a formula field over here and we can name it as yeah test data okay i have created a formula field let's go to the sharing settings quickly and just check within the contact can i create a sharing rule or not okay we do have contact sharing okay i don't think so there is any sharing rule for contact uh but most probably what i think is that we cannot write sharing rules on the formula fields okay as far as i know we cannot write any kind of sharing rules on the formula fields we can create a sharing rule on a field but we cannot do it within the formula field because formula fields keeps on changing right and it does not make sense uh, salesforce won't allow you to create a sharing rule on a field which keeps on changing because sharing needs recalculation and simply if you create if you put it inside the formula field it's going to mess up it's going to again and again recalculate and it's going to mess up things right so i don't think so formula fields can be used within sharing rule so this was all the questions that i had to discuss in this video if you found this video helpful i request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel